Hi, welcome back. Um, we've got Jay McElreath with uh, Siemens Thank here today. Me. And um, in some of our discussions, Jay, we had talked about actuators. Yes. Now, actuators open and close devices, right? That's correct. And, and primarily we use those for open and closing dampers. Fresh air in, keep the cold air out, whatever, right, dampers. But we also use actuators on our valve products. We have three different valve families, a globe valve, a ball valve, and a butterfly valve. And I'm really excited about our new butterfly valve offering. It's um, been freshly redesigned. It has higher temp ratings than anyone else in the market, mm. which is a really big deal. Uh, longer life, more actuations. All of this stuff, you care about how many times it actuates, right? Does it do its job and how long will it do it? And that's one of the things that we've worked at on, worked on with this new butterfly valve is how long and how high will it go. It runs from two inches to 24 inches, which is good. We have two different seal seatings. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice product. It's, okay, so these valves, uh, again, rated up to 250 degrees temperature. They're actually rated down to minus 25 degrees. That's a big deal as well. We've spent a lot of time on the seals and the process that they built this thing. We have to get those temperatures up. Uh, where will you see them? Anywhere that you're moving fluid, specifically the, the glycol mixture for cooling, chilling towers. Um, you don't see these. We don't sell these for industrial applications for process control. They're all for building management. But anywhere they're moving in cooling water, this is the perfect application for it. So the brace plate heat exchangers might be running across uh, your valves and when they're installed. Perfect example, yes. Okay. Yes, our valve would control the water that's going to the heat exchanger. Yeah. Both sides, the cooling, what you're cooling, mm -hmm. And, and the solvent or whatever you're using to cool through the heat exchanger. Now when we're out there talking to our customers about that braze plate heat exchanger, you can also tie that in with Absolutely. the valve. Absolutely. Perfect. They've, they've got to control the fluid somehow. That's perfect. Right? So, great. Thank you. We appreciate the insight on that, Jay. And uh, thanks for visiting with us again. Thank and you. Uh, uh, we look forward to having you again sometime soon. Soon. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jay.